Let's have a look at how we can use the anchor number of 10 to help us get faster at subtraction. If we want to do a calculation like 13 subtract 5, then we could just count back 5, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. But we want to get faster and not do it counting one by one. What we're going to do is see if we can jump quickly back to 10 and then take away the rest. So if we th at 13 we need to take away 5, we're first going to take away enough to get us back to 10. And obviously we need to take 3 away from 13 to get us back to 10. But we didn't only want to take away 3, we wanted to take away 5, so we still have to take away 2 more. So let's recap what we've done. We've said 13, take away 3 will get us back to 10, but we wanted to take away 5, so we still need to take away 2 more. And obviously the answer to that will be 8, because we know plus 2 is what gives us 10. We know our bonds of 10 really well. Okay, now obviously we don't want to have to take out the counters each time to do this, so we want to get faster and faster and be able to do it in our head, and a sort of stepping stone to that is to do as follows. If we want to do 13 subtract 5, what I'm going to do is say, okay, I've got 13 in my head, and I need to take away these five fingers. Okay, first I want to make sure that I get to 10 in my head. In order to get to 10 in my head, I'm going to need to take away three fingers. So then I'm going to have 10 in my head and I've got two fingers left to take away. And so what I get is that 13 minus 5 is the same as 10 minus 2. And I know 10 minus 2 is 8.